was honors algebra 2 pre-calculus. We're in 9.7 of pre-calc, which is probability. So this video is really just a crash course in uh, cards because in probability problems a lot we see questions about playing cards. I grew up playing a lot of card games. Uh, some people didn't, so it's worth going over the cards. So let's start with the suits. There are four suits uh, in a deck of cards. Spades, clubs, those are both black in color. Diamonds and hearts, those are both red in color. So half of the deck is black. That's the clubs and the spades. Half of the deck is red. That's the diamonds and the hearts. Each suit has 13 cards. They're the same 13 cards in every suit. Uh, there is no one. We'll talk about that in a sec. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Those are the number cards. The face cards are the jack, king, and queen. They actually have faces on them. And then the ace has an A on it. Does, uh, so the ace can either count as high or low depending on the game you're playing and sometimes it can count as both. So an ace could actually count as one, it could count down here as one, or the ace can count as the high card that is higher than the king. So the ace is the only card that can switch uh, whether it's the low card or the high card and it depends both on the game and, and, and various rules but that's the idea. So there are 13 cards in each suit. So there are 13 spades, 13 clubs, 13 diamonds, and 13 hearts for a total of 52 cards. Uh, of those 52 cards, 12 of them are face cards because Jack, King, and Queen in all four suits are face cards. Um, four of them are aces, right? Uh, so right there, that's 16 cards out of the 52 that are not number cards specifically, right? Uh, everybody else is a number card. So those 16, Jack, Queen, King, Ace in all four suits are not number cards. Uh, two through 10 in each suit are number cards. That's sort of the gist of it. Um, that's really all you need to know about cards. But uh, usually when we talk about a standard deck, uh, they'll go out of their way to say a standard deck and they mean don't include the jokers because jokers throw off all the stuff. If they say in a deck including jokers, then there would be 54 cards instead of 52 cards. But that's sort of the gist of how cards work.